What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning Channel. This video is one that has been requested many times from my subscribers and it is about the best SAT math resources for the math sections of the SAT. I'm going to split this video into two sections. The first section is going to be all about written resources. The second section will consist of my list of top YouTube channels that you can use to help yourself prepare for the math portions of the SAT. Starting at the top of the list is the College Board's official SAT study guide. This resource is at the very top for one reason and one reason alone because of the eight practice tests that it contains. And these are eight official practice tests. Now remember, whenever you're studying for a test like the SAT, it's so important that the resources you're choosing closely mimic the actual language and style of the test you're prepping for. You can't really do better than getting it straight from the source, so this has to start at number one. Now, I'm not so much a fan of the written portion and the explanations and all that, but I'm purely a fan of this resource because of the practice tests. Now, just a quick note, you can access all of these practice tests for free as well on the Khan Academy website, which has officially partnered with the College Board. After the official SAT study guide, I then recommend actual official past SATs, which you can find on Reddit. Once again, the resources that are closest to the actual test will serve you best. And if these are actual past official tests, you can't do much better than that. After all of this good official material, I then recommend one of my favorite resources, College Panda. In particular, there are two resources from College Panda that I highly recommend getting. The first one is called 10 Practice Tests for the SAT Math. This resource contains exactly what it says, 10 practice tests, but they're so well made and the questions so resemble what's on the actual SAT, except for one little caveat, College Panda has made these tests just a tad harder than the real SAT. It's not so hard that it doesn't connect, but it's hard enough where it pushes you and it prepares you that much better for the real SAT math. The second one from College Panda is the Advanced Guide and Workbook, which gives you targeted practice problems. So if you go through the College Panda practice test and identify certain question types that you keep missing over and over, you can then do repeated practice out of this workbook. After College Panda, I now recommend the practice exercises that you can find on Khan Academy. I can't put them at the top of the list only because I do notice after a certain level that there's a bit of a divergence in between the types of questions on Khan Academy in the practice sections and the actual problems you'll see on a real SAT. Back in 2018, I attended a math conference where spokespeople from the College Board actually talked about the partnership with Khan Academy and they themselves said that after a certain point, the practice exercises were written solely by Khan Academy staff. At first, it was sort of a partnership and they were doing everything together, but then they eventually said, all right, you guys got it. You guys take over from here. That is supposedly, again, this is what the gentleman was saying at the conference, that is supposedly why there is a bit of a divergence and why after certain levels, the questions don't really feel like actual SAT questions. In fact, they feel substantially harder, especially with the level three and level four problems. That being said, this is still a great resource because it's targeted by question type, which is amazing. So you can still get that targeted practice that you'll need after you take your first couple of diagnostics. Next on the list is the Pawn the SAT Math Guide. Now this one has gotten a lot of great praise from my many followers and viewers and students. So that's why I eventually bought it. Now it doesn't have practice tests per se, but it's got really nice targeted sections of practice problems. Once again, it's all about the details and when you do these problems, you'll see that they're carefully crafted and well put together to really feel authentic. Next on the list is the SAT Elite from McGraw-Hill, which gives you an additional eight practice tests. I've solved a bunch of these on my channel and I feel like they are quite representative, but again, a tad bit harder. Next on the list is Dr. John Chung's SAT Math. And I gotta say that I'm not such a massive fan as I once was of this resource, just because I feel like there are better options out there. But the one thing that's great about it is if you're really shooting for a superstar score, it's really hard and it's gonna force you to truly think about the questions and the problem solving process. I think it doesn't have enough multi-step and lengthy word problems to make it feel authentic. Moreover, there is a gap between the difficulty level of Dr. John Chung and actual SAT problems. But that being said, it's a great way to stretch your mind and push your math abilities. Finally on the list is Princeton Review's 10 practice tests for the SAT. If you're running low on practice tests, this is a reasonable resource, but the major issue is what they've done is they've taken the official practice test from College Board and essentially rewritten every problem, but in a very similar way 
away. So it's not gonna truly feel like brand new material. Now, if there's been a gap of time since you took the official practice test, okay, I can see you throwing this in, but I wouldn't recommend it as one of the top resources. Now we come to YouTube channels. Of course, if you're watching this video, you're definitely using YouTube to study for the SAT, as you should. There is amazing content on YouTube, and I'm gonna tell you my top resources where I think you can get amazing free content to help you prep for the math portions of the SAT. I hate to say it, but you definitely need to start on this channel. And if you're here watching this video, you probably already know that. We've got more content targeted towards the math portion of the SAT than anywhere else on YouTube. Moreover, I've taken all the practice tests I can possibly get my hands on and solved them in real time, which means that you get to actually see my problem solving process when taking these tests and adapt those to how you answer questions. Moreover, we've got a video series that gives you specific tips for each and every topic in the math sections. Finally, for those of you who need to build your conceptual understandings from the ground up, we've got an entire series devoted to that as well. Next on the list would be Mario's Math Tutoring. I love this website. This guy's also from Michigan, just like myself. He's got a lengthy series of videos and playlists all targeted towards SAT math. And if you like his teaching style, I highly recommend it. Next on the list is Ludus, who has both content on YouTube and TikTok. And especially if you like the shorter form content, his TikTok channel is outstanding. I I also recommend RV Business, who does a great job with the math walkthroughs and math explanations. Another great part of RV Business is that he recently graduated himself. Finally, of course, we have Super Tutor TV, which has a large database of information for the math sections and a lot of cool videos detailing really, really difficult math problems and how to strategize and problem solve. If you are interested in purchasing a video course for the SAT math, I recommend ours, which you can purchase in the description below. It's called Power 800 SAT Math. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.